Joining us now is Kim Moldovsky from the Maker Mom website. Good morning Good and thanks morning, for joining morning. us. Thanks. Glad to be here. You know, he's super excited oh, about man. this because yeah. he is tech this, nerd. This is how you become a meteorologist. You play with stuff like this. <laughs> exactly. See? Exactly. See? Great STEM career All option. Right. So we're going to get started first with the X-Cube. This was created by a student at the Illinois Institute of Technology, and it's like the Rubik's Cube on steroids. Now, you don't want to touch it. This is, uh, okay, so things turn, uh -oh, Things already... turn this way, things turn that way. Um, there are uh, something in the order of decillions of possibilities oh, in terms not, of it? solving this that's or uh, creating some so fun wait. patterns. If the things. Rubik's Cube wasn't difficult enough, this is what you get for the okay. extra smart person. So now you right. just have to okay. make this look like it like the the way it did, exactly, which is why I didn't touch it before I. Oh, came nice, here. nice, <laughs> Demetrius. This one's defective. But ni nice Stickers Chicago born off. toy, so uh, that's exciting. Um, so next, this? I have here something called the uh, GitHub Engineers Kit. Um, and GitHub is run by two women who want to get kids comfortable exploring technology. And not only does this engineer's kit come with five different activities, but in addition to telling you how to put things together, it also shows you how to safely take them apart. So here's an example of that. This little toy is included, and you take it apart, look at the components, and then you can either reassemble it or build it into some new solar power. So the device. idea is that you're going to also appeal to young girls. Right. right. It's it's mm -hmm. girl friendly, but it's also boy friendly. Yeah. Um, but it's certainly open to, to I like everyone. That. That's very cool. Okay, that's yeah. good. What age would you say this is for? I would say this is for eight to twelve year olds. 12. And again, it's got enough to keep them busy over winter break and start inventing their own things. Cool. Once they know we how to use the. We have an anchor name, last name Ponce. This is a gift. Good gift. <laughs> okay, let's come on. Okay, so now we have, uh, we're moving on to a different kind of electronics. This is an e-textile. This is a kit from Technikio, and this is the lily pad twinkle. Both of these are sewn into things, so we've got the battery here on the back, and then you sew a circuit, so it's got that little flashing light when okay. you connect the circuit. So it's another way to play with electronics. It might be more girl-friendly, but textiles also. So they're actually sewing this together of, and then they're putting an electronic right. component the, as well. The components come, uh, there are some pieces of fabric that come with the kit, um, but this is something I used my own felt and yeah. stitched together a little bit. Very cool. low like that. voltage, so if they drop that in the bath, not a big deal. They, they'll make right. it to nine. <laughs> right. They'll make it to nine, although. Don't, don't agree yeah. with him on this one. Well, He's teaching just... everyone to electrocute their children. <laughs> no, that is something to keep in mind, though. People are afraid of afraid batteries. Of but it's generally, you know, if you're dealing with a nine volt battery, these, I think, are uh, no one and a half or three volts. Yeah. This, so not a this big deal. is cool. This is pretty cool. This is a robot called Ozobot. It's a tiny pocket sized robot that you can play with a few different ways. The company has apps that you can use on your tablet. Or you can Look play with that. markers and not only draw a line, it needs to be a little thicker. Okay. You can draw a line, but you can also include codes in your drawing that make the robot behave in different ways. And wow. um, and then you could also program it with this Blockly called Ozo Blockly. Blockly is a Google product that lets kids learn to code in a block-based program where they just drag and drop these different items and piece together the behavior they'd this like to see in the cool. robot. This retails for $69. There might be holiday sales, but this is the most affordable programmable robot. So it's a great gift if you don't have hundreds of dollars that you want to spend, but you want your kid to start learning One day how those to will take over the world. Okay, what about this here? <laughs> Until you step on it. <laughs> <laughs> Go fly it. That, right, they, they are tiny. The they can they can get lost. I don't okay, know how they're going to do Okay, we're going to squeeze in here. Okay, I'm going to squeeze in here, and we're going to move on to the to Dash and Dat. Okay. These are child friendly. These are rated for kids <laughs> ages five and up. So very child friendly robots. Fun, non threatening curved so they're very inviting and there are different ways you can play with these you can use it like a remote operated vehicle and just direct it to you things you, get in there and you can it. program it there's a variety of apps that you can use with this and i've used the xylo app and can we go to the last one because our time's running oh, out this okay. is the big one this Okay, that was my Rudolph song. Let me That's turn fine. that off. Okay, and this is okay. the Mechanoid G15. This is one of the yeah. hot toys this season. And this, this I'm is not the sure Mac he went Daddy to right sleep here. I think he went to sleep. Okay, we're going to oh, wake him up oh, here. Up. You can give it voice commands. You can stick your smartphone in here, and it will imitate you through a motion control program. And you can program it to do different things. So we're going to say Mechanoid. Mechanoid. Oh, wow. Motion control. Forward. 
Wow. wow. And you, th they build this the whole thing. Yes, and this is built from a kit. This is the two foot version. There's also a four foot version. This is not the kind of thing that you want to present Christmas morning if you want your kids to start right, playing with it because it is going to take a little while to build. Um, but it's a fun build so they get that experience. You can also take it apart and create new shapes or new robots with it. So I'm, I'm getting right. the elbow that he wants cool. that one. That's cool. Man, I just had a Teddy Ruxpin. This is like, this is upgrade city here. Thank you so much. Thank Some you. great ideas right. for us. I appreciate it. You can check out her website, themakermom.com. You can also follow her on Twitter at themakermom. All right, send it back to Dan. And we will send it back out to Anna shopping local this